Hey guys, Lance Wheeler here, founder and creator of the Core Velocity Belt. Wanted to welcome you to the seven day Core Velocity Quick Start program. With me, it's going to be demonstrating some of the movements and the drills over your next seven days is going to be James Ogden. He's the pitching coach at Lipscomb University here in Nashville. So the first thing we're going to talk about, it's going to be a topic that you're going to hear a lot. It's something you've researched a lot. It's something you're probably very familiar with. And if you're not, you will be over the next two and a half minutes. But you're going to notice that when we start, we're going to use uh, a PVC pipe. This is a half inch wide. It's roughly probably seven and a half, eight feet tall, but it doesn't have to be. And if you've got just a bat, that would be suffice. That'd work perfect. But I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a minute. The first thing that we're going to have to do, I'm going to have James step up. You're going to notice that he's wearing the core velocity belt and kind of disregard the cords because we're going to show you an easy way to create greater hip, sh hip shoulder separation. Excuse me. But first, let's talk about it. Hip shoulder separation. When you hear this, basically what it's talking about is referring to the kinetic chain. It's that the, the lower body opens and then the, the upper body begins to follow and the energy is transmitted up through the chain. So whenever we think about hip shoulder separation, we're thinking about at the ground and you're going to see guys with pictures or videos like that. But you've got to realize that not all hip shoulder separation was created equal. And here's what I mean by that. Whenever we're separating our hips from our shoulders, we're actually separating the back hip from the front hip. We're not trying to create distance from the back shoulder to the front hip, like you hear a lot of guys say, simply because I could stay here, start to swing open, and that's not the same. That energy won't transfer, it breaks down. So more into that at a later post maybe, but for now we're gonna get with just testing it, and here's gonna be your, your drill for the day. We're gonna start with, come over this way. This should be, let's get back just a little bit. Just get even with me, there we go. So what we're gonna do is, let's start like this. And you'll see that he's set up, he's in, a, he's in a hinge, slide hinge. He's got the PVC behind his back. The reason we're doing this, start to move your hips. What we're trying to do is we're just trying to, you can move it both ways. We're just trying to move the hips without the shoulders turning. Show them the wrong way. So let the, that's what you're gonna see. The second thing that you wanna listen to, I almost got decapitated right there. Second thing that you wanna listen for is that we're not trying to turn the feet over. We're not trying to spin the feet, all right? When I think about moving the middle is what we're gonna call it, this center mass. It's from the belly button to the, from the top of the thigh to the belly button. And why this is so important is simply, this is where human movement is initiated. It starts in the middle, it moves the ground, and it comes back up. So no matter what I'm doing in, in, in baseball, it's a rotational sport. So whether I'm throwing a baseball, I'm swinging a bat, I'm stealing a base, or I'm even sitting the bench, it's gonna require use of the hips. The guys that do this efficiently are the ones that we say have the easy arm speed that make it look easy. So here's how we're gonna do this. James is gonna start. We've got the PVC pipe. First, let's just, let's just simply rotate our hips and our shoulders. You can see how he's able to just move the middle. Watch how his feet stay flat on the ground and his shoulders never move. Now the next one that we're going to do is, let's turn face that way, this way, so they can get a better angle. Now I just wanna see just a counter turn. What we're trying to do is just to take this hip backwards, very, very important move. The second one, we're gonna take the hip just forward. Now turn around, now you're gonna notice how James has this set up. This is what the core velocity belt, and we've actually got the attachments with the power triangle that we use. Uh, we're attaching it to the front for a couple of different reasons, but the only thing that you need to know is that it helps to create a feel for that as you start to turn around. You can drop the PVC pipe. As you turn around, you'll notice the blue. The blue is going from his front hip to his back, and that's just gonna assist with the counter turn. So in closing, here's your homework for the day. Here's your work for today. Very, very, very important that you're able to start here and just move the middle of your body. The shoulders aren't moving, the feet aren't moving, because let's face it, think about it. If you're trying or attempting or your coach is asking for, to, to create greater hip shoulder separation, if you can't do it while standing, how are you ever gonna be able to do it while moving? You can't, so that's move number one in a rotational sport like baseball. Learn to move the middle, because unless you master that very simple elementary human move or movement, then there's no way you could ever hope to move from